Hi. Um, my background before I came to writing um, children's books and books for young teenagers really was a teen magazine kind of a background. So I have a bit of an addiction to magazines. I really love reading magazines and that kind of short, snappy, interesting, topical kind of content that you often get, especially in a teen magazine. I really, really miss that kind of involvement with a magazine-y kind of a project. Although I didn't really know how we could work a magazine, how we could make it really happen, especially these days when paper-based magazines are kind of going downhill a little bit and some of them are closing quite rapidly, there aren't really all that many paper teen mags left at all. Um, so really in the end what I decided might work better was to kind of combine it with a blog idea and come up with a blog magazine, so a blog zine if you like, and my readers decided it ought to be called Dreamcatcher and that seemed perfect because it kind of represents everything about my books, about the ideas and um, thoughts and themes that um, are behind the kind of things we want to put in. So um, basically Dreamcatcher blog zine launched back in February it's a blog magazine that is written by my readers. If it matters to you, it can go in Dreamcatcher. And my readers are the people actually providing the content. So um, I think I've been privileged already over the last couple of months to be able, especially on my recent book tour, to meet some of those readers contributing to Dreamcatcher. But I think it needs to get bigger, it needs to get wider. More of you need to be reading it and looking at it and contributing to it and check in on it every day because every day a brand new post and every single post is awesome. It's all about you and Dreamcatcher I think you're going to love.